wondered, is there something in our society that we consider to be totally normal that will be judged as a total moral and ethical blind spot by future society? Is there something ingrained in how we live our day-to-day -day lives that is widely accepted but is actually completely horrible and wrong? I know for myself, I've asked this question a lot, actually, because you hear about certain groups throughout history that would just disappear. Nobody would ask too many questions. I mean, you hear about how general society would view one group as vermin, rodents, sickly, sneaky, undesirable, or maybe even infectious. Maybe that group even has connections with insidious secret groups that mean harm to you and your family. Maybe they seem like your normal, everyday neighbor, but late at night they conspire together to bring some horrible thing into your community. You see, before... The experts would tell you about how the Mexicans are more likely to carry disease and the blacks had these smaller brains, so it was okay to treat them differently. And, and you know, the media would tell you that the, the Jews were sneaky and even your average Jewish baker was in on the international Jewish banking racket. But now, see, we have a pharmaceutical industry that owns the largest political parties in North America and they own the largest media corporations. And so the, basically they write the laws so that they don't actually hold any liability for the products that they legislate you to be forced into taking. You get it? Yeah. And the people who see through it, well, they have ties to white supremacy, right? When they're sick, they're sick people. They carry diseases. These, these types. You see where I'm going with this? Do you get it? Yeah. They carry diseases, and, and you don't like these people. In fact, you kind of hate them. I mean, think about it. You wore your mask all year. You didn't visit your family. You maybe even had loved ones die in isolation while they begged you to visit, but you stayed home. You did the right thing. But the bad people, see, the bad people, they had parties. They had protests, and they posted pictures of themselves hugging their loved ones while you sacrificed for the greater good of your community. You were a good, good boy while they were a bad, bad boy. So now, why shouldn't you be allowed in the movie theater and not them? You deserve it. You deserve a treat, and they deserve to be punished because they are bad, bad people. So how does it feel? How does it feel? And be honest with yourself. How does it feel to be in the elevated class? Does it feel good? Do you feel powerful? Do you like knowing that we can't get on a plane to visit our loved ones now? Does it feel good to know that we will never be allowed to leave this country ever again? Like, it's North Korea. Do you get it yet? It's not a virus they want to control. It's you, and the only way they can is if you blame all your problems on the undesirable neighbor. The bad man, the sneaky Jew, the lazy wetback, or the n- And it's a new one every few decades, but it's never the pedophile wearing a suit on TV. It's never him. This time, it's just the racist anti-vaxxers, right? It's their fault. So keep wearing that mask. Keep getting those boosters for the rest of your life. I just hope you know that once we're gone, you're going to the gulag too. It's just a matter of time. But it is not the goal that renders a system oppressive. It is always the methods by which the goal is pursued. Whenever a government claims to have the people's interest at heart, you need to think again. In the entire history of mankind, there has never been a political elite sincerely concerned about the well-being of regular people. What makes any of us think that it is different now? If the Age of Enlightenment has brought forth anything, then certainly this. Never take anything any government tells you at face value. Always question everything any government does or does not do. Always look for ulterior motives and always ask, cui bono, who benefits? Whenever a political elite pushes an agenda this hard and resorts to extortion and manipulation to get their way, you can almost always be sure your benefit is definitely not what they had at heart. As far as I'm concerned, I will not be vaccinated with anything that has not been properly vetted and tested and has shown no sound scientific evidence that the benefits outweigh the disease itself and possible long-term side effects, which, to this day, we don't know anything about. I will not be reduced to a mere guinea pig by getting vaccinated with an experimental drug. And I will most assuredly not get vaccinated because my government tells me to and promises in return I will be granted freedom. Let's be clear about one thing. No one grants me freedom, for I am a free person. So I dare the European Commission and the German government Throw me in jail, lock me up and throw away the key for all I care. But you will never be able to coerce me into being vaccinated if I, the free citizen that I am, choose not to be vaccinated. Guys, we have a 93-year-old Holocaust survivor. Hi, my beauty. Thank you very much. Uh, I am, in fact, a survivor of the Holocaust. And the first thing I have to tell you that even then nobody told us it was done for our own good. We all knew what was happening. And when I think today, when I see people march 
I think of the Yellow Star, which gave everybody liberty to aggress me, to, to insult me, to call me a carrier of disease, oh, my love. to spit on me even. I love you. I would like to tell you that this is worse. It is more insidious, it concerns more people, it is, it is, there is a hypocrisy in the public narrative that is absolutely unbearable to say that we're doing this to protect the old. I would love to die in a state that gives me freedom than live in the history. I have already outstayed my welcome by many years and my life expectancy is probably not great but I would gladly exchange this for the lives and livelihoods and happiness of generations that come after me to live their lives as I have been. To, to have mass to see people defile their children with masks is, is something totally unbearable to me.